Hey guys. I just want to come in to uh, our group here and go over some meal planning because I know this is usually a tough one for a lot of people, especially when you're starting a new program and you're not really sure um, the best thing to do. So getting started, I don't know if you guys have gone into the Beachbody On Demand yet, but that's actually the best place to start. If you First you have to pick your program, and once you pick your program, you go in uh, to the nutrition, and then you look to see how they have it set up for you. So when I, when I do my program, PIO, and I go into Nutrition Guide, first you wanna go in and do your calculations. So you put in your weight, it'll give you uh, the calculations, your weight, your you know, what you multiply it by, what you subtract by, and in the end, that's how you know what you should be eating on a daily basis. So you're gonna give you, um, based on your calculations, how much fruit, you know, how much protein you get every day, the carbs, the type of carbs, um, the healthy fats, and it's, you know, it's, it's all proportioned out for you. And then it gives you, for like 21 day fix, they give you the containers that you can use that really help you with your portions. For me, with Pio, they give you portion sizes and then you kind of you know figure it out as you go so like for me I'm allowed two fruits a day so in the morning I'll make my shake and I'll put in blueberries and that's mo that's one fruit and then later on in the day with a snack I'll have an apple or some pineapple or whatever I happen to you know buy at the grocery store then you know I'll do like a handful of um, almonds to go with the fruit and that would be a healthy fat that would go with it so you just want to look and, and kind of like sit down and get a game plan okay so I don't know what day of the week you guys go grocery shopping for me it's Saturday so Saturday morning or Friday night depending on what my plans are I will you know list out what I'm gonna be having for the week so you kind of want to break it down I think the best thing to do is actually take out a piece of paper and actually write it out so do a whole week Monday through Sunday and then do your breakfast snack lunch snack dinner and then actually write out what you're gonna be eating and then as you figure that out you're gonna have another list over here and you're gonna be making your grocery list okay so as a and as an example, um, so say Monday, you know maybe Monday's a crazy day for you and you're not gonna have time to make breakfast. That's a great time to do your shake. So decide you know, what you want in your shake. If, you, if you're gonna do like unsweetened coconut milk or unsweetened almond milk, or if you like it with just water, you could do that too. Um, I happen to like the, the coconut milk in mine. My daughter likes the almond milk. Um, and then just you know, determine are you gonna add um, like half a banana? Are you going to do it without the fruit? Because you you have to just portion out your whole day so that you're getting the amount of fruits, the amount of proteins, and list them out so that everything makes sense to you. Um, and then you go, you kind of go through and say, okay, take Sunday as um, a way to prep as well to think about you know maybe cooking up three or four chicken breasts on Sunday and then you have it for the week so if you want to throw in salad if you want to um, you know just roast them some up for dinner it's it's already made for you and it makes it makes your life easier um, so I just had a couple of notes here I didn't want to forget to tell you guys anything um, another oh another thing that's nice and easy if you're making dinner to actually make extra for yourself. Now, if you don't mind having leftovers, I, I think it just makes life easier. Do a little extra and have it for lunch the next day. That that saves time and that makes it a little easier for you as well. Um, so let's see. So like for tonight, or I don't know if actually I'm gonna do it tonight, but on a typical night, I, I love roasted vegetables. So I'll just do a pan. I'll take like some cauliflower, um, 
and some potatoes and I'll cut them up and I'll throw them in like a gallon size bag and I'll just do a little olive oil in there some salt and pepper seasonings if you like you know parsley oregano garlic powder and just kind of mix it all up and then I dump it on some parchment paper on a cookie sheet throw it in the oven and roast it for like 45 minutes so good and then you just do chicken on the side or do fish or any kind of lean protein if you like that um, I know some people like vegan but you know you could do more veggies you could do um, some quinoa or some brown rice you just have to when it comes to your carbs just make sure that you're watching your portions because carbs obviously are gonna be important to watch just like your healthy fats you want to have them every day you just want to watch how much of it you're having um, another thing to watch is when it comes to those carbs like when you get to the end of the week everyone has usually like they're gonna go out on a Friday night or a Saturday night or maybe they have a birthday party to go to um, you can save like for 21 day fix you can save those yellow containers which is a carb for like a glass of wine so that's one way to you know kind of think ahead um, hopefully that makes sense to you if you're looking at the nutrition guide it, it'll make more sense the um, trying to think what the other the other thing I wanted to tell you guys so so you do your calculations you write out Monday through Sunday you actually start thinking about what you want to eat start writing it down planning it out um, having a little bit of protein at each meal is really helpful it's satiating it'll keep you full lots of fruits and veggies will help you know keep you full it's nutrient dense and then decide where you want to put your shake whatever makes your life easier if breakfast is hard for you do it for breakfast in the morning I like doing mine between breakfast and lunch because I make it I I'm work is only 10 minutes from away from me so I have a little something for for breakfast in the morning I usually do like a a piece of gluten-free toast with um, some mashed avocado on it and then I'll have my shake mid mid morning and then I, I have bring my salad with me or I'll bring leftovers from dinner last night so you know try to keep it simple it doesn't have to be complicated that way you know you're not getting overwhelmed and the, the worst thing is actually is not planning at all because you figure oh I'll just wing it and I'll figure it out but you know what happens is you're starving and now you just want to eat so then you go to the drive-thru and that is the worst because you know even if you try to get a healthy something at a drive-thru it's really not healthy um, so just try especially you know in the beginning it's just gonna take a little used to, time to get used to if you're not familiar with portion sizes and you use the containers you know after you use them for a little while you're gonna get used to it and then you you can eyeball it but in the beginning you're gonna want to actually use those containers so that you know you're in the right you're in the right quantity in the right size okay um, same as with measuring like if it's it's a half a cup of rice you definitely want to measure the rice out because when you look at it you're gonna be like it's only a half a cup <laughs> today people look at portion sizes and they don't realize like they have a portion size of pasta is a small amount you know you look at somebody's plate and it could be enough for four people it's crazy how portion how portions have gotten out of out of control so just try you know to be to so that you get full just eat more vegetables that really is the best thing or make sure that you're eating five to six small meals a day make sure you put your snacks in there because if you wait too long in between lunch and dinner you're gonna be so hungry that you're gonna end up overeating and you don't want to do that either all right guys so I hope um, I hope this has helped you definitely reach out to me if you have any concerns or questions about the meal planning and prep but definitely use your weekends to get ready. All right, guys? All right, talk to you soon.